Ever since the dawn of the world, it has been a problem to know how to get through the winter. Some creatures solve it by sleeping underneath a stone. It's a matter of taste, but the majority prefer to put up with the winter. But the newt is one of the stone school of thought, and he doesn't even wake up when you let in the draft. That's about enough. We don't want him to catch pneumonia. If you leave him alone, in the spring when the snow has all melted, the newt wakes up and looks out upon the world to see what's what. All the trees and bushes round the pond are in spring green, and the water looks most inviting. Or going to be cold. Brrr. Suffering swordfish, it's like ice. Here comes another. The early bathers are all of the so-called sterner sex, and their spring shootings include a waistcoat with spots on it. The first day in the water is exactly like the first day back at school. They're all telling lies about what they did in the holidays. Here come the girls, plunging in and looking frightfully good in light beige appliqued down the front. But this one is hungry after her long winter fast. It isn't so fashionable now to be quite so slim. She finds herself a nice worm. It's very nourishing, but also very difficult to eat in a refined way. A cross between spaghetti and fireworks. home there is a reflection from below of the undersurface of the water and of trees and the sky above. And so long as the pattern of this reflection doesn't alter, the newts can be perfectly happy. But if it changes, it usually means there's going to be an invasion. Good gracious, it's Julius Caesar. Oh no it isn't. It's teacher pointing out the newt to her nature class. And what is worse, she has a net. Look out boys. There she has it, a lovely netful. No newts, but lots of mud. All right, boys, you can come out now. The dear girls are going to have such an interesting afternoon. Well, the coast is clear, so Norman thinks that he might as well go and show off his spring waistcoat and the orange lining of his coat tails to somebody who will appreciate it. And in a busy pond like this, it isn't very long before he runs across the most glamorous lady. Here she is. Of course, she won't look round. But he's so very slow that finally she does take a glance. Not at him, of course, just to see if the walking is better that way. Seeing her face to face, he is struck sideways with admiration. But even now, she's much too little notice. Oh boy, oh boy, what a girl. Is she refined? The gentleman begins to think she's just dumb and goes off, and that does it. And after that, of course, it's just one of those things. Yes, it's love. But even now, it isn't what you'd get from Mickey Rooney. Hey, what is this, romance or living statue? Now the pond is practically furnished already, and any of these little pieces of green stuff will make a splendid nursery. So Mrs. Newt just wraps up the egg in a leaf and leaves it. And this is the beginning of a water baby. Just a round of yellowy white egg wrapped up in a piece of water weed. After a while, you'll see it beginning to grow a little on the left. Up above, it's midsummer. Warm sun and blue sky through the trees. And Mr. and Mrs. Newt decide to go in for a life of pleasure on the surface, and they abandon their helpless she isle. But already it's beginning to shape into head, body, and tail. Apparently, it can get on without their help. And in another couple of days, it's grown a lot. The pond isn't really safe. It's full of hungry creatures, like the water beetles, who are always on the lookout for a meal of new eggs. And now that the baby has started jerking about, 
Their sharp eyes would soon see him and they'd eat him. It's really a warning to all mothers with fidgety children. Never leave them where they can be got at by water beetles. But gradually the egg gets covered with bits of weed and dirt and it hides the baby inside, thus completely deceiving the water beetles who grumble incessantly about the shortage of newt's eggs. Here are the water beetles grumbling. So with luck, the baby grows up until it really begins to look quite like a newt. It isn't everybody's ambition to look quite like a newt, but if you start out like it, you may as well go on with it. If the sun shines down through the surface to the water weeds below, in about four weeks the baby is ready to hatch out. gets bigger and bigger and bigger, until all of a sudden, he's out, leaving the empty shell behind him. The little newt tadpole joins a whole lot of cousins, who, like himself, find the pond very soon, hang on to the weeds for safety. He breathes like a fish through gills, those feathery things on each side of his head. They're transparent, you can see the colorless blood flowing through. After a while, the young tadpoles feel hungry, so they leave the weeds and go in search of food, such as water fleas. Water fleas are good food for many kinds of water creatures, so very few water fleas have much of a future. Well nourished, the newt tadpole grows larger, and still more like a newt. Its eyes are enormous, and it has legs and feet with three toes on them. So that if you happen to be a travelling fish and get lost, it's very confusing when he tries to point out the way for you. Better go straight on. You can't miss it. The spots of colour make him almost invisible in the light and shade of the pond. Given plenty of food, he grows in a couple of months to this stage, with four legs, small gills and quite a newt-like appearance. Babies growing up. And if the summer's fairly good and the pond keeps warm, after three months the baby loses his gills. That's very careless of him, because now he can no longer breathe in the water. So he has to find a way out, though he's never been out before. Give him air! It was stuffy down there. Hello, Bill. The pond seen from above looks most peculiar like the place where you used to live before you got the ride. But it looks the kind of a place where a chap could have a pretty good time. You see, he isn't a water baby anymore. No, he really isn't a baby at all. He's one of the lads of the village, so look out, girls. Mm -hmm. 